earlier, I said that Screwed Up Click probably one of the greatest groups. Mm. In in the time when Screwed Up Click was, you know, everything was bubbling and everything, was there any any beef or anything like that in the group? I mean, uh, I told you, like, niggas used to come to school out of no. nigga didn't, you didn't go to school with niggas. You know, you didn't, you know, grow up with certain niggas, you know. You know, I might have wrecked with you, blame trap with you, <laughs> but that a pack with you, but some trap with you. That's like one of the songs, so, uh, uh, not not really, you know. A couple of niggas might have said something here or there, you know, at the time, little fly, and you know, my niggas are us, gangster, gangster. You know, some other niggas may feel the same way, so just a couple of little slugs might have got shot, you know what I'm saying, certain ways. But like, if I ain't rock with you, I ain't rock with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, uh, and sometimes when you, when you were outsider, which I was just kind of looked at, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I can tell you a lot of text. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I was there at the beginning, you know. And never, this never faked the funk or never faked the funk. And this niggas that came, might have came after me, mm -hmm. but you know, but just might have felt like, because they from Houston or H Town, like, you know, that meant something. But with me, it didn't mean shit, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the earth is my turf. You know, that's how I did. You know what I'm saying? I, I lived in all these different cities as a youngster, just moving, da da da. And uh, I remember my homies who was with me. Uh, we got, we saw that our shit was black hearted. That's what we used to call our shit, you know what I'm saying? And for some strange reason, you know, they ain't like, you know, certain shit with the screwed up people. You know, they just ain't, you know, they just was different. You it know? was different. It was different at the time. Yeah, you know, um, if you listen to my music, it wasn't a freestyle type music. Right. So niggas got to understand when niggas came to make tapes at Screw House, some niggas might have not been real rappers. Some niggas might have just been a hood nigga, d boy making the tape. So, you know, my partner, you know, man, nigga, want to hear that nigga, nigga play. <laughs> so, you know, that's the kind of shit that drew separation. And if you ever look at it, Anybody that, uh, even including me, that I might have had problems with, it was always outside influence. You right. feel me? So, like, at the beginning, niggas used to just, it was just an automatic thing. My partners, they partners. Used there was to some street shit at the end of the day. But they used to just automatically, uh, won't just put me, you know, wanted me and Kiki to go at it. Mm -hmm. It was just a normal thing. You right. know, I guess we were, like, considered some of the best ones. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that just would how it was. Right, right, right. Me and Pat was cool. You know what I'm saying? Me and Pat was super cool. But here's a story not too many people know. Uh, I'll never forget I'm sitting at the studio. Pat called me. He said, man, I'm working on the album. Finally, you know, I got my album going. I'm at Break Shop, da, da, da. He said, I got this song. And he, uh, why you peep in me? And I said, all right. Nice I said, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, it's going to be me, your key. And I was like, who? And they ain't getting on the song. Yeah. You're like, man, you came what's up? That was just the influence of my partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we never really had no beef. It just was niggas in my ear and his ear. Bam. And that's, I, a, that's a thing that's perpetuated even now. That's how I mean. That's how yeah. I mean. When I first, I'm at the South Vegas is where my, uh, where my wife is from. And, you know, one of the hoods I used to be in. And uh, I'm at the corner store and the dude come up to me and say, hey, man. You, you one of my favorite rappers, man. My name is Lil Flip. Hmm. It's a true story. He was still in school. You know, so my, my, she wanted my wife at the time. She used to be like, why does the dude keep coming knocking, knocking at the door? Right. I said, man, the little nigga want to rap. You know what I'm saying? So, bam. That's how we got so close. He used to go everywhere with me. Da, da, da. Freestyling and rapping together. Bam. When he blew up and got the deal, niggas around him was the ones putting this shit in his head, but they ain't shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's kind of how that little whole, like, I never even used to say the word freestyle. You know? That's, do you, you know, I'm glad you said that because that was my next question. Yeah, I never used to say that word. So, yeah. so my question was, who is the original freestyle king of the screwed up clip? I mean, I would say, I would say, uh, me, <laughs> fat, fat. Okay, okay. Uh, so I would throw I would throw key in there. It's flip. It's flip. Flip wasn't that. Is he the but is he the first person to claim freestyle King? See, I don't I don't think so. 
Hmm. I think other people were saying the word first. Yeah, because I know of you to be a freestyle, the freestyle. But I never used hand flip. Yeah, but if you go back and listen to all the tapes, me, Pat, and Keith, you know, used to say the word freestyle king. Yeah. Then the street start calling us that. Right, right, right. So around the time when Rick shot, when we first, uh, when I first started dropping the shit with Rick shot, like the uh, shiny grind, I'm sitting up. See, this is '98. You know, '98, '99. The word is being tossed at us. So a nigga say the word. Now, Flip is always with me at this time. You feel me? So, bam, we having fun freestyling. Sony and whoever was doing a promotion made it be uh, more than what it was. Okay. Yeah, Screw yeah. didn't even, you know, Screw didn't really know. You don't feel cool now? Yeah, we're super cool. We don't, we, you know, we got, he don't talk, 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 we got plenty of songs. That's a little bro. But Screw yeah. ain't no? Huh? Screw ain't no? No, like Screw didn't know what plaque he was finna give. You know, he didn't understand that really at the time. No. They just kind of like caught him off guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a freestyle king, da 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 da. So it became, you know, they were just trying to put, you know, put niggas against each other. But once I you know, found out and matured a little more, I found out, you know, it wasn't even fit with all the drama shit. He just was a youngster. Just a youngster. He was putting that shit in his head. You know, trying to make him, you know, go that kind of way. Same as almost anything, you know. And that's, you know, that's kind of how it was. So, me, mm -hmm. him, and Keith posed to do a, a Freestyle King. We all going to do a Freestyle King project. We got that in the works. But, you know, Flip, you know, he one of the good freestylers. Like, Roke can freestyle his ass off. Of course. Niggas don't even every, know Every screwed up nigga, every screwed up click nigga can freestyle. Yeah. That's, that's, young, that's, young can freestyle, you know. I'm talking about every lot, single yeah, one. A lot of them. Here's, here's poke, poke it. Hogan don't question. like to really do it, but he can freestyle too. Of course. Here's a good question. How many official members are in the Screwed Up Click? Oh, man. At least 100. 100? At least. I'm talking about, you know what Screwed Up Click remind me of? Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang motherfucking clan, man. At least 100. <laughs> but you got to think. I'm we, talking about who, who's the top nine, though? Like Wu-Tang. Like, Screw is RZA. Okay. Uh, Fat Pat. Oh, he's gone. He was one. Uh, L, L, D, L D right there at the beginning. Okay. You know, uh, Spencer to me was there at the beginning. Ronnie Spencer. Shout out to Ronnie Spencer. And she got like three, four songs on So South Side. Go get that. Ronnie anyway, uh, Grace then was there at the beginning. Body Boys. Okay. Um, I know I miss somebody, but who cares? Bro. Uh, Wrong with that at the beginning. Okay, okay. You know, uh, Big Mo. Okay. You know, Pokey. Pokey. Yeah. Youngster. Hawk. Hawk. Okay. The whole DA, Hawk. K now. All those. 3 2. 3 2 went that at the beginning. Okay. 3 2 came uh, right when Mike Dino, around the time with Mike, Mike Dino. Mike Dino, Yeah, Mike Dino came. They were Southside players. They, okay. When they did a project with Fat Pat. That's when. Three, two of them came. Bam. Mm -hmm. A little bit later after that. Not Flip. Mm. Not flip. Then Flip came around. Flip didn't really come to right like when 97, he started. 98, 99, really. Yeah, right when he started blowing up. That's mm -hmm. when he came. Made him a, a few of the tapes. Mm -hmm. uh, Roe was there. Mm -hmm. You know, right before that, around that time. Then you got Trey come. Mm -hmm. And there are so many I'm not naming that niggas don't know. That was really there a lot. You feel me? Like the demos. Okay. Like all these kind of people. And it's so many more. Uh, and I know my mind is just going blank on those but you, names. But you're getting it on point, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to think of all the members who who didn't rap. Hmm. Business members and everything. No. Homies. They, oh, they just as important as we was. That's when you hear those kind of names. Like the, the man pools and the... You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, man, there's so many names. The Project, the Ron G's, the who was who was Screw's favorite member? Do you think DJ Screw favorite member of the Screw Up Crew? Oh, probably Ad. Ad, if I could think of eighty third, he loved all of us for sure. But that was you know. Yeah, the nigga that was closest to him. Yeah, and then, you know, I ain't gonna lie. MSC don't, MSC don't them, but they was closest fuck. 
You feel me? You know, okay, we was, me and Screw was close as fuck. Shit. You know. What's up? You know, I ain't gonna lie, you know, but, you know, him and Grace, and was, and Grace was close as fuck. Yeah. And him and Ronnie Spence was close as fuck. Yeah. You know? But probably Ad was probably closest. Yeah, you know, probably closest. If I could just say that, I might be wrong. Yeah, I would say Ad probably maybe a C note or somebody. You know, okay. Probably. For sure. All right, so look, a while back when I first started doing interviews, I ended this interview to a dude named DG Bags. He worked for the Core 94 yeah, radio station. DG Bags, I just did interview. Him. Right. So DG Bags, in my interview, this one, like probably one of the first interviews I ever did, he said that the difference between the Swisher House. In the screwed up click, as you said. You know what I tell you the difference between Swisher House and SUC was? Okay, tell me, let me know. Swisher House was a group that really were consist they really consisted of rappers. Mm -hmm. Comedian that was a rapper, Slim Dug was a rapper, 5050 was a rapper, Magno was a rapper, like they bought okay. and SUC, which was out before them. It was led the way, which consists of really just a bunch of drug dealing niggas <laughs> that just that just know a DJ nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got that no rappers. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And they Kiki, had a lot more singing though. Kiki was probably the only one. Kiki and Pat was probably the only ones that was like really rappers. You know what I'm okay. saying? Do you agree? Yeah, I'm gonna got You said what? I'm gonna gotta wipe my face or something on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hold, up, hold up, screw. I wish I'd have knew that before I did the interview with him. I just ranked on him. I just, that's the dude we did over there with, uh, with Roy Ashley. Oh boy. Mm. I was cracking them jokes playing with him. Right. <sighs> so, you mean to tell me when you listen to a Switch House tape that those are just uh, like a real rappers that came together with a DJ. <laughs> you listen to school. What he's saying is about how niggas went to school house to make tapes. Mm -hmm. Certain niggas went to school house to make tapes. That was street niggas or just a D-boy or just a hood nigga. You feel me? When you go to school house to make a tape, you come. You put your name on your list or whatever. Mm, come in and make a tape. All brand niggas didn't make tapes at school house. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when the nigga came, that's how you got certain rappers would come because a nigga with a name or a nigga that had a little pool or a nigga that just really knew screw was on that list to make his tape. And he was like, damn, I'm going to bring the EG today. This nigga like, I'm going to bring Kiki with me on my, I'm going to bring Pogan. You know, I'm going to bring, you know, Fat Pat, you know, da, da, da. It was real referrals. Yeah, like that. Like now, other niggas who just street niggas come and they make a tape. Right. He not a real rapper. Right. So that's how you start getting all that up. Man, huh? I came down. Man, yeah. huh? Smelling like a pine. Ooh. And when yeah. the nigga fall off the floor, like, hey, hold up, baby. Boy. You, know, <laughs> that's, you, know, you know what I'm saying? That's when the nigga fall off the floor. Yeah. That must be who he's talking about. I got you, I got you. Because you got Fat Pat, double, triple, quadruple, fucked up. You feel me? Passion. I'm talking about some good shit. You know what I'm saying? Our shit sounded like albums. Yeah. yeah you feel me? Right. You know, Pokey Moss, Kiki Moss, me, yeah. Zero, yeah. yeah. You feel me? The O came later. Yeah. yeah that's, that's another one of them. Yeah, the O yeah. came later. Shit, you know. Yeah. Hawk. <laughs> you know, the list goes on and on. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, he's talking about those niggas who just came to make tapes. Because <laughs> you got to look at it. The, the difference that I would say between us and Swiss House, comedian now, Slim Thug. Yeah. Pow Wow. No, I'm not naming him. I'm okay. not Pow. But like comedian now, Slim Thug. You know, you know, I don't consider J Dog really Swiss House. You know, but they rap. Rap, rap. Rap, rap. Yeah. You know. Pow Wow, was, he eventually got to the rap rap. A lot of the other uh, verses and shit you would hear, like the difference, just the difference. We rap shit that we would really do, or niggas was really doing, or that niggas really seen. And they rap shit that they wanted to do. Want to do. I agree. You know, that's just how it is. Or they rap shit that, like, you know, I done threw Blaze on the tractor. 
It was right. in a factory. Gucci toilet paper and yeah. all that type of fantasy type of. You couldn't say that shit to screw house. I got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just couldn't. Nigga, look at me. What? Let me Gucci toilet paper? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's the difference between me. You know, theirs was more. Mm -hmm. They rap, some of them rap like the niggas who was at screw house that couldn't rap. Hmm. You know, the niggas who just be playing on the mic. You know, some of the street niggas of D-Boy, they just say anything. Yeah. You know, through words together. That's how you kind of used to hear that. Same way that transcended, transcended to when daddy started rapping like that. Mm -hmm. It's first. the big T. U-C-K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, they started kind of rapping like that at first. So that, I've always, and no disrespect to Dallas, I've always felt like when that, when they shit started kicking, it always sounded like a younger version of what we was we already right. did. That's how it was at the time. Exactly. Exactly. We yeah. was working with a lot of artists out there at the time. Yeah. And then they eventually evolved into their own thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay.